Hello and welcome to this video tutorial from ComputerGaga.com and in this video we are going to look at five reasons that your Excel formulas are not calculating. Now reason number one, the first thing that you want to check is you want to click on your formulas tab at the top of the ribbon and you want to check these calculation options. In there, it should be set as automatic. Double check that that is not set to manual. If it is set to manual, your formulas will only calculate when you click one of these buttons to the right of that button. Or use a keyboard shortcut like F9. Now, you may not be aware that it's going to be set to manual. There are various factors involved as to why that may have changed including macros that could run in the background or which spreadsheet you opened first. You know, another spreadsheet can dictate what calculation option is set. So just bear in mind that you may need to check that, especially if you share machines uh, with other people. Now, if that's set as automatic, then we need to explore other reasons for this. And another reason may be, with my three examples on screen here, this first sum function that is not calculating, if I click on the home tab for that cell, I can see that that cell is set in a text format. If your cell is formatted as text, your formula will not calculate. So you can see the, the notation used is perfect. It's just the format. If I change that format to general and then go back in to recalculate that cell, which is easiest done just by double clicking to get into editing mode and then pressing enter to rerun, you know, to force that formula to calculate. And now it works. But when that was formatted in this text format, it's a bit further down in this list, it would not run. If I try and run it now, it does not run or does not update, maybe the case in this text format, if that has happened accidentally by you or by a colleague accidentally formatting that cell will prevent it from updating anymore. Okay, now another common reason is going to be a mistype when you're writing these functions or editing or general use of the spreadsheet to be fair. Now in this first example, you may notice it, it's not that clear, but there is a cheeky little space at the start. Now, because that space is there at the start of the formula, that is preventing it from being a formula. And because a space is not a visible character, it's not that always that easy to notice it and to diagnose it. If I double click on that cell, let's try that again. Here it is. You can see there's a little space at the start. And if I take that out and then press enter, the formula is running. But initially there was a little space just before the equals and that was enough to put it in as a word, put it in as text and prevent that formula from calculating. Reason number four, it's another typical mistype. This time you cannot see it in that cell. That looks perfect. It's not until I click on the cell that in the formula bar it's visible. There is a apostrophe or a single quote, as some people may call it before that function. If I double click, it's now visible in the cell. And if I take it out and press enter, my formula is now calculating. So if you accidentally mistype and put one of those apostrophes in at the start, some of you may know that that is used to format things as text as you type. Very common to use that as a way of getting leading zeros into numbers, that kind of scenario. But that can also be a factor as to why your formula is not calculating. Now, if I jump to sheet two at the bottom, reason number five is applied to this sheet. It's back to the formulas tab for this one, and it's the show formulas button. On this sheet, it is turned on. The other sheet, it is not. It is a sheet by sheet basis, that button. That is turned on. That means that instead of showing the result of the formula, it shows the actual formula. 
very useful button when you're trying to troubleshoot your formulas and see what's going on. But as you can see, the entire sheet's formulas at any given moment when you do that. It may be that someone else has done that on this spreadsheet and forgot to toggle it back off. It may be that you've accidentally clicked it, especially if you're using a touch screen or a touchpad and you have less control than you would in a device like a mouse. But you want to turn that off if you want that formula to calculate. And the moment I click that button, the formula calculates. I press it again, it shows the underlying formulas instead, giving the impression that your formulas are not calculating, they are not running. So that is the last reason here. There are five different reasons as to why your formulas are not calculating. There was, first of all, the calculation options. Number five was the show formulas button. And in between, there are various typical typing mistakes or indeed formatting mistakes with the text option in the format area there. I hope you found this video useful. Please check out some of our other videos on our YouTube channel and come check us out at computergaga.com.